Welcome back, everybody. A national championship meal comes from the creative minds of the culinary arts program at Fox Valley Tech. We are lucky enough to check back in with Chef Julia and her team who provided us a fabulous meal. Good morning. This smells oh, so good. absolutely amazing. Let's talk a little bit about how this translates now to resume building and careers for this team. Absolutely. So. Oh, here, I'll give you this. Thank you. <laughs> I pass the mic off to our team captain, Grace, because okay. she can kind of fill in more about the food. Yeah. The team opportunities that, or the opportunities that come for the team from being a part of this is immense. The chefs they get to meet going from the regional competition, the national competition, they're meeting certified executive chefs from all over the mm -hmm. U.S. They're meeting certified master chefs. There's only about 50 in the U.S. Oh. Um, I'm going to point out Kirk right here is actually headed off to Florida from connections from this to go work for one of the CMCs as a new opportunity for him. So the networking that they have developed, the chefs that they have met, they remember these five students. Yeah. Out of the 25 that had the opportunity, the five that were on our team are the ones that get to be the reigning champs. So their names are kind of plastered sure. all over the ACF website for a year. It's great recognition for them. Awesome to put on the resume because it shows the level of dedication that they had. Yeah. Like I said, I can't stress it enough. This opportunity for the students, it's above and beyond everything. Yeah, they it's not extra class credit as far as this uh, the competition and the practice side of it. It's all their own willingness to be up at three or four in the morning to get to those practices. <laughs> Drag me up to rack practice. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat this at any time of day. Grace, let's talk a little bit about this main meal that you have here. Yeah, so um, right here on the bottom we have the pea puree. Mm -hmm. um, it has some mint in it to kind of highlight the lamb. Um, then we have the mushroom and the tournée carrot, uh, cherry confit right here, the braised potato with the potato puree inside. So it's kind of like a surprise when you bite into it, into the middle. Oh, cool. Um, with the lamb meatball on top and some peas. And then right here we have a cherry reduction. We'll do a lamb loin and the lamb tenderloin over there. Uh, Morgan, are you going to help? finish this beautiful plating for us yeah, here this morning. Go right ahead, my dear. <laughs> okay. okay. I'll hold the microphone so you can do okay. this. All right. So I'm actually going to go around the table and then I'm going to okay. put this okay. on there. That way it's the easiest for everyone. Sure. So this and like presentation wise is like really important for any like kitchen, especially for plating wise. Sure. So when we like make a mistake or have like drippage on the plate, we got to make sure we clean it up. We learned a secret this morning. <laughs> Should we say it? <laughs> Makeup sponges. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, all right, they're cleaning up there. Um, let's see. Now, what is on top of the, the medallions? Here? Um, it's a gremolata, and then it's like Dijon mustard, and then it's the tenderloin peas. Oh, my goodness. This looks so good. It does look mm -hmm. delicious. Mm -hmm. And fresh ingredients. Did you guys, I mean, for you, being a chef in training, not mm -hmm. surprising, but is it neat to bring people unique ingredients paired together? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, one of my classes is, like, an LSO class, so we learn about, like, different ingredients that we can pair together. And okay. this helped immensely because I would have never thought of pea and mint together. So Right. Yeah. All right, oh. I'll hold this. You get a fork. You got to do this. You got to try it. <laughs> 